I gotta warn you, the following program could cause uh, the arrest of every single person in this studio and the banning of this television show for all time from the face of the earth. Well, no, not really. <laughs> Only if the movie studios get their way. But they're not in charge yet. If you buy a DVD, in my opinion, uh, you own it. And you should be able to do things like put it on your hard drive because you want to take it uh, on the road with you or put it in a, a, one of these new big uh, network-attached media servers so that you don't have to... Now, because you own it, now what we're not going to tell you to do is how to pirate a DVD, how to steal it, how to give copies to your friends. We're not talking about that. We're talking about making a copy of your DVD for archival purposes. Right. Depending on the nation you're watching this in, that could get you arrested. But not this nation, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so, Callie Lewis is here. Do you... Well, I'm not going to ask you if you do this, because you live in one of the nations that can get you arrested for doing this. No, I don't do it. No, and neither do I. <laughs> Never. Um, I don't, and nobody's ever been arrested for this. It's only kind of more theoretically right. illegal. But, but people would want to do this. Absolutely. Of course. <laughs> it's completely sensible. You're allowed to take a CD and uh, put the music from your CD on your computer. Right. You should be able to do the same with your movies. Exactly. So and, how, you know, for though? purposes of, of going on a trip or something, taking 10 DVDs with you right. would be a great thing. Um, but I'm also, I would love to be able to, to move over my 1500 DVD collection over onto a dedicated, <laughs> something like that. Wow. You like buying movies. Like buying movies. See, yeah. this is, see, this is a perfect example. Movie industry makes a lot of money off Cali Exactly. <laughs> Why would you care? She's going to buy more. Right. I'm so, always going to buy them, but I would love to have a dedicated hard drive, they, like a Mac mini or something to just have them all on there. So I don't have to keep opening right. the cases and they do they throw up a roadblock though because this is copy protected right so how do we get around that well drive-in actually um is a great one because this once is for you put it in, the macintosh this is from here. the people who do uh, flip, flip for, for mac. mac yeah flip for mac products are always great I love they know them. what they're doing they do I can't get the DVD. Here, here, here can i get it out for you <laughs> hey, shall we play Come a in. game there you go. okay so when you put in a DVD. We're putting in war games here. Mm -hmm. Drive-in is installed, and it should ask me. It's not asking me. <laughs> it will. It takes a little while for it to notice okay, this. So um, drive-in actually comes up and asks. Well, it should ask you if you want to want to do that. Uh, Why does it want drive-in? This is what it looks like. Okay. Um, drive-in will actually copy over everything, all of the special features, the whole movie and also the copy protection. So okay. it's moving everything over. It's just a copy. So you can actually fill in everything you want, all the information, or you can download info. And if I can have the DVD case. Are you going to enter in the yes. ISBN Two, number? Seven, That's kind of neat. Six, one, six, seven, zero. And this is going slow. Sorry, it's I can't the, type Oh, fast. the UPC, actually. Okay. <laughs> the UPC. And it, see here, I haven't put in the last number, and it tells me I haven't. So go grab that. And it downloads all the information from Amazon.com. Oh, that's neat. So I don't have to put in the cover. Exactly. You don't have to stuff. enter all the information. This is a quick and easy way to just get all of the information over. And I said, okay. Hey, maybe, did you get the number right? Here, give it to me. I'll read it to you. Okay. Make sure we got it right. <laughs> all right. Two, it's not the ISBN. It's, it's the UPC. It's the whole thing. It's this one. So zero. Right, starting with the, yeah. Zero, two, seven, six, okay. one, six, seven, zero, five, six, two, four. Seven, wait, seven six one six. <laughs> two seven six one six seven zero five six. Okay. Two four. Uh, it's saying can't connect to the host, but every other oh, time. Oh, you know, I'm we're just having that typical this. internet problem. Yeah, here. it's okay. just the internet. Um, every other time I've done this, it we'll works perfectly. Up. It okay. just pops up with the, the graphic. So this um, is, I see why they call it driving. This is really for somebody like you with 1500 DVDs right. that wants to make a library on her computer. Exactly. It's perfect. I love this application. And then the <coughs> is this, is, uh, is this available um, on, how do I oh, get this? Uh, just go to flipformac.com. Okay. And right as we're taping this, it's in free beta. Oh, that's nice. But when this airs, it should be open. A and commercial it's actually, product. It's a commercial product. It should be around $50, they say. Okay. Worth so, it. Go ahead. All right, next product. <laughs> next, next ah. product. That's a Mac product, by the way. We'll have some yes, PC products is. for you. And it. Handbrake is a great one. It actually <coughs> I use is a this. ripper. Right. I love this. And so... It, does, it has far fewer features. For instance, it doesn't go out on the internet and do anything. Right. In You're fact, just... it names everything movie. <laughs> 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 you have to name it. You're you're ripping every you're ripping the movie over and so first the thing it has to do is it? look at the DVD 
and see what's on it. Now, one of the things that this does that I love is you don't have to get all of the extra features. Right. You can just get the movie. You can just get the movie. And you can also set, you can tell you want. It does iPod it, versions. H.264. Peach PSP right. versions. It, you have a lot of customization right. on that. And um, then you just rip. It takes, now ripping, you know, it takes a while. It takes right. pretty much the amount of time of the movie itself. This, it depends on the speed of the machine. Um, my fastest Mac will do it about twice as fast, which is nice. Yeah. Um, but the advantage is they're smaller files, so you can easily get exactly. 10 movies on there. It's about a gigabyte a movie, maybe a little bit less. A little bit less megabytes. in this case. Yeah. Yeah. So you can get a whole bunch of movies on a single hard drive. And that's yeah. what I use Handbrake when I travel. It's great. Yeah, it's perfect. And what for if that. you're on a PC? What do you do? If you're on a PC, here's one that's um, that I'm actually doing right now. <laughs> it's she's a ripping. plus DVD copy. Okay. And um, it says in 30 minutes or less. That's the that's the PC there, yeah. Okay. Um, but it's actually taking like a couple of hours. Or Again, hour that's because the computer has to do the work of converting exactly. the file format. There now, are, Steve, go ahead. Well, Steve Gibson actually uses one called DVD and Decryptor. Decryptor is good. And, uh, Which is out of business. That. Now, the, what's happening with these companies is the Motion Picture Association tracks them down and, uh, and takes their firstborn child, which I think is a little <laughs> bit cold. But, no, they track them down and they put them out of business. They sue them. And DVD Decryptor has been sued. There's another one called Shrink to Five, which is pretty good which and so far still a business. About? Yeah. Okay. And DVD Fab uh, is a very good program, still in business. But, you know, sometimes he's, the good news is DVD Decryptor is around and is free. So if you just search, you can find it because right. people, they're just not being updated. The okay. company went out of business. Yeah. Sad to say. Some good tips. I do it. You do it. I don't do it. <laughs> but she doesn't do it in the United States, nor do I. We only do it in Canada. Get all the links you need and more information. Check your local.